Welcome to Level Up Architect, the channel where we explore the world of architecture one architect at a time. I'm your host Lionel and firstly I would like to welcome all the new newly subscribed members of the channel. If you like these videos please make sure to hit the like button and if you are new around here please make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel out a lot. In today's video I would like to introduce you to an Indian architect named Raul Marotra and five of my favorite buildings by him. Let's go meet Raul Marotra. This is Raul Marotra. He is the founding member of RMA Architects and he is also a professor of urban design and planning at Harvard University School of Design. I was fortunate enough to see him speak at the 2014 UIA International Architecture Convention held in Durban, South Africa. He was, for me, one of the best speakers of the event, simply because he didn't just give us a slideshow of pretty pictures um, of the buildings he designed. He actually went into great detail of the reasons behind his design decisions. And I also found him quite uh, relatable and down to earth when it comes to his design ethic. The first project I would like to show you is the School of Arts and Science for the Ahmedabad University in India that was completed in 2020. I really enjoy his bold use of space in this project. He creates these atrium spaces and then he starts dispersing them amongst the rest of the volume of the building and he also starts folding them into the rest of the building by creating split levels. He introduces bright colors. This helps the students navigate the building and improve its overall user experience. He also introduces a variety of sitting opportunities for the students. This is accomplished through a variety of ledges or benches that are built into the structure and are scattered along the circulation spaces. I absolutely believe that a building should cater to the social needs of its occupants but I can't help but wonder how the current pandemic will change and shape the future of architecture. My number four pick is the Think Tank Retreat in India that was completed in 2009. It consists of eight living units as well as a health center. I believe this building's strength lies in its uncomplicated design and simple detailing. There are a couple of things I would like to point out. The first is the use of natural ventilation in the building. Because the building isn't completely enclosed, natural ventilation can flow through the building, creating a very cool experience. This cool ex experience is aided by this pond that runs along the side of the building. The ceiling of the structure is covered with what seems to be carved timber panels, and timber detailing can also be found across the entire project. The building allows a fair amount of natural light to enter the space. However, as a user goes up onto the mezzanine levels, this light is dimmed and becomes a lot more comfortable. All of these spatial qualities result in a very calming environment. I can certainly see myself relaxing in a place like this. Let me know what you think. Is this the kind of retreat that you would like to visit? This is Three Court House. It is located in Alibag, India and was completed in 2014. The house is designed in three separate modules, each with its own courtyard. This is to allow each module to be individually constructed over time. For me, the success of this building lies in its simplicity. It makes use of a very minimal material palette and the geometry of the building is very striking and straightforward. I love how each one of the individual modules is arranged around its own courtyard. This creates a great sense of security and privacy. Next up is the KMC corporate office in Hyderabad, India, completed in 2012. What makes this building so special is the aluminium trellis that surrounds almost the entire building. The trellis is separated from the inner glazed skin of the building with an accessible walkway. This allows locally employed workers to populate the trellis with a variety of plants. 
Once grown, this planted trellis can act as a living second skin to the building with two main functions. The first is ventilation. Any air that passes through the planted trellis will be cooled and will act as natural ventilation for the building. Um, the second is that of natural light. Um, any light that passes through this planted trellis will be filtered and will also help control direct solar heat gain for the building. My only criticism of this building would be the amount of maintenance that it requires. If it isn't cleaned and pruned back on a regular basis, I think the building can start looking sh very shabby in no time. Finally, my favorite project from Raul Marotra has to be Hatigon in Jaipur, Rajasthan, India, that was completed in 2018. This is literally a housing scheme for elephants. Hatigon means elephant village and was designed to shelter the local elephant population as well as the caretakers of these wonderful elephants. Not only did this project succeed in creating a sanctuary for the elephants and their caretakers, but also succeeded in rehabilitating the natural landscape surrounding the village. The housing units for the elephants are designed very simply. They make use of local materials and are usually open air. The dwellings for the caretakers are treated with a similar simplicity, offering them a great starting point to further develop and add to their own dwelling as they need. The magic of this project does not lie in its architecture, but rather in its story. Each elephant at birth gets assigned one person as its caretaker. That person will grow up with the elephant and develop a very long lasting, strong relationship. This is literally the plot to an uplifting Disney movie. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, and it'll make you fall in love with elephants. So hey, Disney, if you're listening, let's make this happen. That's it. Those are my five favorite buildings by Raul Marotra. Please let me know what you thought about these buildings in the comments down below, especially the Elephant Village. I hope you found it as magical as I did. If you have a suggestion for an architect that you would like to see in the next video, Please feel free to make a request in the comments below. As always, links for everything shown in the video will be found in the video's description. If you liked the video, please smash that like button and share the video with a friend. And if you are new to the channel, please hit this little handy subscribe button. And oh, this video might be for you, so maybe you should check it out. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.